Hey there food fans, Guy Fieri here and let me tell you I'm all about flavor, whether it's on a plate or straight from the garden. There's something magical about growing your own food, and today we're diving into a method that's as cool as it sounds. Today we're diving into the cool world of hydroponics, where we're ditching the dirt and growing plants in a nutrient-rich water bath. Imagine a garden where soil is a thing of the past, and plants get everything they need from a carefully balanced water solution. It's like a swimming pool for your plants and trust me, they love it. The roots dangle freely in the water absorbing nutrients directly which means faster growth and bigger yields. Now, you wouldn't jump in a pool without checking the chlorine levels, right? Just like we ensure our swimming pools are safe and clean, we need to make sure our hydroponic systems are perfectly balanced. Same goes for our plant buddies. They rely on us to provide the right environment, and that means regularly checking the water's pH and nutrient levels. We gotta make sure their water is packed with all the good stuff they need to grow big and strong. This involves adding the right mix of nutrients which are like vitamins for plants. That's where hydroponic nutrients come in. These specially formulated solutions provide everything from nitrogen to potassium, ensuring plants get a balanced diet. Think of it like this. Just like we need our vitamins and minerals to stay healthy, plants crave a balanced diet of nutrients to thrive. Without these essential elements, they can't grow to their full potential. Just like we need our vitamins and minerals, plants crave a balanced diet of nutrients to thrive. These nutrients are the building blocks of life, helping them grow roots, leaves, flowers, and of course, those delicious fruits and veggies we love to munch on. These nutrients are the building blocks of life, helping them grow roots, leaves, flowers, and of course, those delicious fruits and veggies we love to munch on. The beauty of hydroponics is that it allows for precise control over what the plants receive, leading to healthier and more productive gardens. So whether you're a seasoned green thumb or just starting out, buckle up as we explore the ins and outs of hydroponic nutrients. We'll dive deep into the science behind it, but don't worry, we'll keep it fun and easy to understand. We'll break down the essentials, show you how to mix the perfect nutrient solution, and give you the know-how to keep your plants happy and thriving. From measuring the right amounts to understanding the role of each nutrient, we've got you covered. Get ready to grow some righteous food, hydroponic style. With the right knowledge and a bit of practice, you'll be harvesting fresh, flavorful produce in no time. So, let's get started on this hydroponic adventure together. Alright, let's talk about the heavy hitters in the nutrient world, macronutrients. These are the essential elements that your plants need in larger quantities to thrive and grow robustly. Think of them as the main course in a meal, providing the bulk of the nutrition that fuels your plant's growth and development. These are the big guns, the main course for your plants, and they're needed in larger quantities than their micro counterparts. While micronutrients are important, macronutrients are the foundation of plant health, ensuring that your plants have the strength and vitality to reach their full potential. First up, we got nitrogen. N, the muscle builder of the plant world. Nitrogen is a key component of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, which are essential for the growth and development of plant tissues. Nitrogen is all about leafy green growth and is crucial for making chlorophyll, the pigment that gives plants their green color and helps them soak up sunlight for photosynthesis. Without sufficient nitrogen, plants can't produce enough chlorophyll, leading to poor photosynthesis and stunted growth. Without enough nitrogen, your plants will be stunted and their leaves will turn yellow. This condition, known as chlorosis, is a clear sign that your plants are not getting the nitrogen they need. Ensuring a steady supply of nitrogen is crucial for maintaining healthy, vibrant plants. Next we got Phosphorus P, the root master. Phosphorus is vital for energy transfer within the plant, playing a key role in the formation of ATP, the energy currency of cells. This bad boy is essential for strong root development, flowering and fruiting, Phosphorus helps plants convert other nutrients into usable building blocks with which to grow. It's particularly important during the early stages of growth and during the reproductive phase. If your plants are lacking phosphorus, they'll have weak roots and won't produce as many flowers or fruits. This can severely impact the yield and quality of your harvest, making phosphorus a critical nutrient for any serious grower. And last but not least in the macro crew, we got potassium, K, the all-around good guy. Potassium is involved in many physiological processes, including the regulation of water and nutrient movement within the plant. Potassium helps with overall plant health, disease resistance, and water regulation. It activates enzymes that are essential for plant growth and helps plants withstand stress conditions such as drought and disease. 
It's like the immune system booster for your plants, keeping them strong and healthy. Ensuring your plants get enough potassium will help them grow vigorously and resist various stresses leading to a more bountiful and healthy garden. Now, let's move on to the micronutrients, the spices of the plant world. These guys are needed in smaller amounts, but don't let that fool you. They're just as important as their macro buddies. We got iron, phi for healthy green leaves, manganese, men, for photosynthesis and stress resistance, and zinc, zian, for growth and development. Then there's copper, Q for enzyme activity, boron, B for cell wall formation and sugar transport, and molybdenum, mo, for nitrogen metabolism. Think of micronutrients like the seasonings in your favorite dish. A little goes a long way in bringing out the best flavors and ensuring everything is balanced and delicious. Section 4. Mixing your nutrient solution, a recipe for success. Alright folks, it's time to put on our chef hats and whip up a nutrient-rich feast for our plants. Just like a chef carefully selects the best ingredients for a gourmet meal, we need to be meticulous about what we feed our plants. The right nutrient mix can make all the difference in the health and growth of your hydroponic garden. Mixing your own hydroponic nutrient solution is easier than you might think, and it gives you complete control over what your plants are eating. This control allows you to tailor the nutrient mix to the specific needs of your plants, ensuring they get exactly what they need to thrive. Plus, it's a fun and rewarding process that brings you closer to your garden. First things first, grab yourself some high-quality water. The quality of the water you use is crucial because it serves as the base for your nutrient solution. Poor quality water can introduce impurities and contaminants that can hinder nutrient absorption and affect plant health. Reverse osmosis or RO water is best because it's free of impurities that can mess with nutrient uptake. RO water is essentially pure water stripped of minerals and contaminants that could interfere with the delicate balance of your nutrient solution. Think of it like using filtered water for your coffee, it just makes it taste better. Just as a good cup of coffee starts with clean water, a successful hydroponic garden starts with pure water. The difference in quality is noticeable, and your plants will thank you for it. Next, you'll need to gather your ingredients, your hydroponic nutrients. These nutrients are the lifeblood of your plants, providing them with the essential elements they need to grow strong and healthy. Without the right nutrients, your plants won't be able to reach their full potential. These usually come in two forms, liquid or powder. Each form has its own advantages and can be chosen based on your specific needs and preferences. Liquid nutrients are super convenient, as they are easy to measure and mix. They dissolve quickly in water, ensuring that your plants get an immediate supply of nutrients. While powder nutrients are more concentrated and often more cost-effective, they can be stored for longer periods and are usually more economical making them a great choice for larger gardens or long-term use. Now, for the fun part, mixing. This is where you get to play scientist and create the perfect blend for your plants. It's a bit like following a recipe but with the added satisfaction of knowing your nurturing life. Always follow the instructions on your nutrient product label, as concentrations can vary. Each product is formulated differently and using the wrong amount can either starve your plants or overwhelm them with too many nutrients, but generally you'll start by filling your reservoir with water, making sure it's the right temperature. Cold water can shock your plants, while warm water can encourage the growth of harmful bacteria. Then, add your nutrients one at a time, carefully measuring each one. This step is crucial, because the balance of nutrients needs to be just right for optimal plant growth, stirring thoroughly after each addition. This ensures that the nutrients are evenly distributed throughout the solution, giving your plants consistent access to the food they need. And there you have it, a perfectly mixed nutrient solution ready to fuel your hydroponic garden success. Section 5 pH levels, finding the right balance for your plants. We've got our nutrients mixed, but hold your horses. There's one more crucial step, checking the pH level. pH is a measure of how acidic or alkaline your nutrient solution is, and it plays a big role in how well your plants can absorb those vital nutrients. Think of it like this, if the pH is too high or too low, it's like trying to eat soup with a fork, your plants won't be able to take in the nutrients they need. The ideal pH range for most hydroponic systems is between 5.5 and 6.5. To measure pH, you'll need a pH meter or test kit. Once you know your pH, you can adjust it using pH up or down solutions, which are readily available at hydroponic stores or online.